The first product on our list is WEN 56207. Safe for use with timber up to about 10 inches wide, the WEN 56207 delivers 13,000 pounds of pressure, which is enough for many consumers' needs. Its 15-amp electric motor eliminates the cost, mess, and emissions of gas-powered models. This product is available on Amazon for $228. There are 426 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. I was very impressed with this log splitter. It was perfect for my application. I was able to split about two cords of straight pine and oak over the course of two afternoons taking my time. The pine had already aged about nine months and the oak was very old. It split it all with no problem. I could see people having issues with very large and or fresh cut logs. Even when splitting by hand I've always let my wood age for at least six months before splitting. As long as you understand what you're getting this is a great tool for the price. I already have several family members asking to borrow and possibly buy their own. Another happy customer said, Works pretty good. One load down so far. We'll split hard wood with some patience. The bad, the two-handed operation is great for a 10-year-old. Makes it troublesome to steady a log and run the machine. The ram comes up a little short. Would be nice if shoved a little closer to the wedge. Last the package was nearly destroyed some the bolts was missing. But it sure beats swinging a mall. An unhappy customer said, I had a lot of hickory which is very knotty and hard to chop. I bought this hoping that it would speed things up. Once I learned that if it doesn't go through a log the first time to just rotate it 90 degrees and try again it really worked. The issue was on the second day it started leaking hydraulic fluid so I'm guessing one of the seals gave way. I opened the air release valve before I used it every time so I don't know if I received a faulty one or the hickory was just too much for it. The next product on our list is Sun Joe Lager. Using a mechanism much like a standard bottle jack, the Sunjo Lager lets you break down wood without gasoline, electricity, or damage to your back, by applying up to 10 tons of force. It can handle pieces as long as 18 inches and as wide as 8. The price is around $150, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 529 customer reviews, a customer said. I don't use wood as a primary heat source like many others. I have a fireplace that I use occasionally, and a fire pit that I use more often. I had a large cord of wood dropped off and stacked recently from a new supplier. It was the hardest, most solid wood I've ever handled, and cut in very thick chunks. My axe and hatchet just bounced off the wood, and I just didn't want to rely on a maul. I researched various and wide-ranging options. I couldn't justify purchasing a gasoline-powered splitter for the few times a year it would be used. I looked at many electric log splitters, but the reviews were far too spotty, depending on the type of wood being split. Manual hydraulic splitters seem to offer a good mix low price, low maintenance, and reliability when faced with extremely hard wood and knots. The package arrived quickly, but the box was in rough shape with large holes punched through, and no wonder as this is a heavy beast. I unpacked the Sun Joe, and except for one of the cradle arms being bent significantly, the machine was was intact. There was virtually. Another happy customer said. I bought this for my husband, and he has been very pleased with his log splitter. It is lightweight compared to big electric splitters. It does not need electricity. It can be folded up and stored in a small space. It is easy to move to wherever he is working. He says I did good choosing this new toy for him to play with. 
An unhappy customer said. After reading the reviews I really wanted to like this splitter. What I really wanted was something that was a little easier physically with the understanding that it might be a little slower. Instead this splitter is ridiculously slow but also very easy. It was so slow I couldn't see myself using it to do more than a cord of wood max. The time it takes I would rather just chop the wood by hand. I could see it being useful for someone that just has a couple fires every year. Or maybe someone that goes camping every year and wants to take split wood for a fire. I personally use around 5 cords of wood every winter to heat my wood stove. This splitter was not the right product for that much splitting. I really didn't like how it doesn't split all the way through the wood. Even the few logs I did do I still had to split some strands by hand to just get it completely separated. For now I'm just going to continue to chop by hand and look into getting a gas splitter next year. The next product is Boss Industrial S7T20. The Boss Industrial ES7 T20 shines in its simplicity, constructed for easy one-handed use, as well as nimble navigation on two large and nearly indestructible wheels. Its 3,500 PSI cylinder allows it to tackle denser material than its similarly sized competition. The price approximately $449. There are 442 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. A good value for the price, based upon some intense shopping around before I finally chose this one. For the price, you get 7 tons of splitting power, one-hand operation, sturdy build, portability, and avoid the hassle of keeping a gas engine in running condition. I used it intensively for the first two weekends I had it. The motor is a bit louder than expected, but still much quieter than a gas engine. If you put too big of a log on it, the splitter will get real loud as it struggles, then give up and reset the motor, which somehow disables the hydraulic ram forward motion, gently returning the head to its resting position. Then you have to power off and on the machine to get it going again. This happened to me a few times, was not a big deal. If it does and a log is stuck on the wedge, one tap with a sledge or splitting maul easily knocks the log free. I split some very large, green logs with this and it did a surprisingly good job. Pros, 1, one hand operation, only one hand has to stay in contact with the handle switch to make. Another happy customer said. I just bought the boss splitter a few weeks ago. I live in the mountains in CA and the drought and bark beetles are killing millions of trees here right now. I had to have a 250-foot pine tree cut down because the bark beetles got it. The logs that I have been splitting are very green and full of water. The largest log that the splitter has gone through so far is one that was 16 inches long and 22 inches round and the boss went right though it without any problem. I have split about 30 logs so far all of them were 16 inches long and the circumference varied from 17 round all the way up to 22 inches round. The boss has handled all of these logs without any problem. I have also used the splitter to split kindling all the way down to one half inch wide pieces. I use cedar as my kindling because it splits really good. An unhappy customer said. I checked the ratings online before making a decision. Back in March 2016, 10 months ago I purchased the splitter but only used it for 3 times at a minimum use, anyhow the splitter bent on me while using the 4-way crosshead which is an accessory sold by Boss that I purchased separately to speed up production. The accessory piece does rise up while splitting it bent the original splitter head. Boss knows about this quality defect. Since the splitter was on warranty I figured no issues. Well there is a big issue the cost of shipping back the splitter to get repaired as half the cost of the machine. So it was agreed by boss to send me a new body and for me to switch out all the components, so far I agreed without any real choice that was less costly. The service rep was really great and helpful, he explained how to switch out the body, but now I am still missing some spare parts. 
In a nutshell the boss splitter is Chinese made, with poor quality in mind and with that said I spent a day and half in fixing the splitter myself and I. The number 4. Dirty Hand Tools 100,950. With a 2-inch ball hitch coupler and DOT approved, 16-inch wheels, the Dirty Hand Tools 100,950 is perfect for trailing behind you en route to the job site. It features a wide, I-beam body with large upper and lower brackets to secure large pieces of wood evenly. The price approximately $949. There are 12 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.3 stars, a customer said. So far nice machine simple to assemble with the downloaded instructions and common sense. Few cons thought, DOT was missing the hydraulic reservoir cap dip stick so when running the fluid spills out some and splatters out, been working with customer service about it but so far they sent me the wrong part. Biggest complaint thought is how you have to fill the engine oil, unless you flip the entire thing on end you'll never get any oil in the machine since the dipstick oil fill caps are on the bottom side of the motor machine. I ended up putting too much oil in since I didn't realize it had to be flipped like that at first. It has leaked something out but I am not sure what it is since I can't check the hydraulic level without the dipstick and can't check the oil without spilling the hydraulic fluid. Another happy customer said, I have split maybe five cords red oak with it so far, no problems yet. Came with a bit of rust in a few spots, contacted Amazon and they made it right. Took me about an hour to put it together by myself. I have only had it a few months but for China made it has worked just fine. An unhappy customer said, no assembly or operating instructions with purchase sent warranty card, returned undeliverable? The next product in our list is Yard Max Full Beam. If you regularly face vast amounts of downed lumber, the Yard Max Full Beam can help clear it out, thanks to a 6.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. It's easy to tow behind an ATV or truck, and cycles in a relatively quick 10 seconds. The price approximately $1,613. There are 56 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. The packaging was very good. Shipped in a coffin box made of Luan set on a pallet. Assembly instructions were very clear and the hardware was packaged by the numbers to follow the assembly instructions. First, however, the total weight of the splitter is approximately 600 pounds 28-ton model, so it takes more than one person to maneuver the parts. There are three main assemblies, the motor, wheels, hydraulic oil tank, the tow bar, and the main body with the hydraulic piston. I didn't weigh it but the piston assembly has to be in the 400-pound range. Assembly requires lifting the piston subassembly to the vertical position and then maneuvering the wheel, motor, tank subassembly into position. It was quite a struggle that took all the strength that two of us could muster to raise the piston assembly, while the third person held the wheel assembly steady. The two assemblies are attached by the hydraulic line so it was a bit tricky to keep the vertical piston assembly upright while moving the wheel assembly. There isn't a whole lot slack in the hydraulic hoses. Overall, a rather difficult assembly process. <laughs>